one thing to keep in mind is that the clock itself is very regular in how it runs. There is no doubt that at different times of the day, um, our alertness, at least by various um, you know, psychological tests, um, does change throughout the day. We're quite alert in, in the sort of late morning, and um, it's thought that you know, when we wake up, our body temperature is fairly low, and then our body temp temperature sort of gradually increases throughout the morning. Uh, so we're sort of at a fine-tuned um, physiological state, sort of just before lunch, more or less. When we eat, um, you know, we take food in, our blood sugar goes up, and then insulin is released, and our blood sugar then begins to go down, and probably around you know, 2 30, 3 p.m., we sort of come off the peak of that sugar rush, and that's often when we're when we're tired and, you know, we feel like we should have a nap. In the evening, um, you know, we're, we're thought to be, even though we've, we've been up for a long time, that's thought to be sort of a, a creative time and there's been some psychological um, studies to show that. And so the behavior that we, that we elicit is, is a combination of all these, all these rhythms that are happening with sort of the clock being the, the core underlying one.